Room 34 in the National Gallery contains the cream of British art. Constable's Haywain. Stubbs's fabulous whistle jacket. And Turner's Fighting Temeraire, recently voted the greatest painting in Britain. But if you stay here for long enough, you begin to notice something odd. The painting which seems to get most of the attention is not one of these famous masterpieces, but a canvas by an artist who, until fairly recently, was dismissed by much of the British art world as a minor provincial. Joseph Wright of Derby. This is one of the most extraordinary and intriguing British paintings of the 18th century. It's a work of real artistic showmanship, enormous in scale, yet almost photographic in detail. The entire scene is illuminated by a single source of light, a candle, while a glimpse of moonlight adds a sense of mystery. Critics might call it showy to the point of melodramatic, but it's still totally arresting. When you first see it, it's like stumbling in on some occult Masonic ritual. The pedantically descriptive title is An Experiment on a Bird in the Air Pump. But that raises more questions than it answers. What sort of experiment? What on earth are they doing to that bird? Why are those children crying? And why is this old man sitting in the corner, apparently oblivious to what's going on? And what are these strange objects scattered across the table? The answers to these questions, it turns out, take us into a world even more extraordinary than the one the painting depicts, a world reveling in the new scientific ideas of what came to be known as the Enlightenment, but also beginning to discover some of the philosophical terrors that lurked in the shadows.